welcome back to my channel chris star here if you are new here please turn on those post notifications i will be dropping a haunted explore every single friday tonight i have something really special for you guys i am at the el adobe restaurant in san juan capistrano <laughs> Okay, this is a mouthful. I'm at the El Adobe restaurant in San Juan Capistrano. It's a very old restaurant and there's a lot of stuff that has happened to Kelsey Davies. She has been here in the past. Where we are right now is in the basement of the restaurant. There's something really creepy to the right of me. I will show you guys a little bit later. This is now a wine cellar, but back in the 1700s, this was a jail cell where people were actually put on death row. There's a lot of energy here, good and bad so let's see what we can find out tonight we're gonna do a mini investigation here get the spirit box out see who or what we can communicate with what are you that? ready Did you hear that? there's a lot of sounds happening right now that's kind of weird because the room above us is closed there's no one's in there I think something knows we're here. No one's up there <laughs> no are one. you ready cuz I'm never ready thought there were people up there last time no uh-uh we went up there, we're like, no one's here, it's closed. Like, all the chairs were stacked up and it was closed. There are wild stories to tell about this place. I will be sharing them throughout this video, guys, so stay tuned and let's go. So right now, I am in the basement by myself. Kelsey went back that way to investigate another room, so we're kind of off doing our own thing right now. Really freaking weird. It sounds like there's somebody walking above us and the upstairs is closed. Ooh, there's actually things carved into the wall right in front oh, of me. This EMF's going crazy. And the EMF meter back there by Kelsey is going off. This is now a wine cellar, but this used to be a jail cell. And this town was spirits here. Come join us and come show yourself on her camera. This town was founded in 1776. This was mainly Native American, Mexican Native American territory. This wasn't originally California, as you know. So before 1776, there was Native American tribes living in this area. So a little history for you. This was a jail from 1812 to 1910. And then in 1948, this was turned into an historic building, which is now the restaurant that is on this property. That's weird. So right behind Kelsey right now, I just saw what looked like steam. That's weird. It was right by that jail cell door, right behind her to the right. If you guys see or hear anything throughout this video, please comment with the timestamp down below and let me know. The EMF meter was going off a little bit. Yeah, it's really loud. The entire room was closed. You heard something in there? Yeah. I hope you got that. That was loud. You didn't hear it? No, I didn't hear it. I don't know. It's screaming. How deep does this go? I don't have a light. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. There is a dead body in the basement of this restaurant. Not too sure whose body this is, where it's from, how long it's been here, or why it's been here. This is all that's back here, and I'm not going to lie right now. My body is surging with energy. Oh my goodness. Every time I'm in a place that there's a lot of energy or different energies, my body feels sort of high. Like I get this strange body high. I almost experience what feels like vertigo. I get a little dizzy. It's a strange feeling. I can't explain it too well. The only way I can explain it is that it's similar to the feeling of vertigo. This is the original foundation of the, the jail cells. It's really small down here, so I can only imagine how cramped it was for the people living down here. Probably very deplorable conditions. And there were people here that were sentenced to death. We get to eat down here. This is so exciting. I know. It's like we're so good. damn morbid. We're just sitting down here. Is my dead body eating? What? Oh my god, you scared me. <laughs> I got I got so saw my pants. I'm gonna walk around this. 
I don't understand who would even be up there because there's all the chairs are up and the room is closed. Well, this is a different, this is a Portola room. We didn't go in that room. Oh, it's a Portola room. It's like a the party room and it, it's usually oh. closed before the restaurant closes. So maybe they're closing it right now. But last time me and Maddie heard this and we went up there and, and nobody no was, was there. there. So Guys, we're gonna go upstairs in just a few minutes to check it out. I keep hearing that over there, like a whisper. I have two stories for you guys. One is of a lady who is said to haunt the restaurant. She is looking for her son who was jailed in this basement. They never told her that her son was killed and it's said that her spirit still is walking around, especially in this basement, looking for her son. There was also a worker who ran out of this building. She was terrified and she never came back. We're not too sure what actually spooked her, but Kelsey and I both agree that the energy that is in this building is not necessarily evil or bad but some people just can't handle it you know it's not something that everybody is open to like us so we understand why it would scare people but yeah this lady actually never came back she was so terrified she ran out of work through those doors but it goes the other way that's the big door can we go on the in other there? side oh we'll go around there's a big door to that room is the door I saw open, creak open when I was talking to the manager about letting me film here. The door just creaked open. Like and now we're just exploring the restaurant. This is the upstairs of it. There's still some people here dining, but the room that's above the basement, there was nobody there. So feel this door. Like this yeah, this is, is a really heavy door. It just went open like this way. Huh. the kitchen area there's a lot of like activity that happens that scares people that's where the employee saw something ran oh the oh there they are guys check it out richard nixon and his wife El Adobe D. Capistrano is one of the president nixon and first lady pat nixon's favorite mexican restaurants that's really cool. It's like, why this particular place? Like, I would never imagine that the president would be- San Clemente. San Clemente is like 10 minutes from here. Oh, okay. So then it's that near, does make it's sense. It's home. So this, is, this was just his favorite restaurant. This place is beautiful. And then out there, they, there's some sort of patio room with candles lit. Where they like have wedding parties. Oh, I want my wedding party there. Yeah, <laughs> be us. Even though I never want to get married. <laughs> But if I did, it would be at a haunted restaurant because that's, that's me. Yeah, actually, I actually asked him that what his nephew's experienced. He's heard a guy with a cane walking behind him when the restaurant was closed. He turns around, no one's there. So he's experienced Did you say you heard that too? Yeah, I heard a cane above me and Maddie. I heard like a cane and me and Maddie went up into that room. We were just saying no one was in there. It was closed, the doors were shut, all the lights were off, all the chairs were there. So, just wanted to give you a little tour of the upstairs. This is a beautiful restaurant, and there's activity buzzing around the entire place. It's not just the basement. Many employees here have heard and have seen things. What happened? It's here. Oh, it's here? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I, I, I smelled it. I was like, I smell enchiladas. I wonder if there's a ghost. That, no, there's mine. Guys, here's our food. <gasps> wow. Whoa. I got an enchilada salad and look at it. Oh, yeah, Richard, Richard Nixon, if you're here with us, tell us what your favorite meal was. He's like potatoes. <laughs> I got an enchilada salad. It was just sitting here I as soon I can as we walked downstairs. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Kelsey. I got you. Like I, like I really my got brain. myself. Can you move that again? Guys, my EMF is spiking. I'm eating right now, and Chris and I just got our cameras out. This EMF was spiking, like, as we were talking about how much we liked it down here. Who's sitting next to Kelsey? Whoa, it's cold. <gasps> is it? Ooh, it's freezing. How weird is that? I wish we had our temperature thing. Oh, my God. Shoot. Oh, we don't. man, that'd be so cool. Wow. No, just that the lights, you know, when he's uh, sweeping or mopping or whatever down here lights have turned on and off without anyone being down here or um, candles just all being blown out at the same time. 
So our waiter just came downstairs and he was sharing some of the stories that you guys just heard and he did mention that there's a lot of customers that have come down to this basement that don't feel comfortable and have to leave. He said they can sense something like they feel a weird pressure or they start feeling funny, which does make sense because as soon as I walked down here, not even just down here, as soon as I walked into the restaurant, I started getting those feelings of vertigo and I was a little dizzy and I could feel that pressure. I just think it's really interesting that people don't want to be down here and Kelsey and I are just slamming our faces with food. This is like something that I do kind of regularly. I travel and I go to different haunted places. I go to different bed and breakfasts and haunted restaurants and hotels. Every time I go on a vacation, it's kind of centered. It's, it's not even kind of, it's always centered around something haunted or paranormal. I've been to New Orleans, I've been to Savannah, Georgia. I've been to places in Virginia. I've been to places in Tennessee. I've been to Gettysburg in Pennsylvania. I've eaten in a basement in Gettysburg, actually. So it's they don't believe that Nixon's spirit is coming back to this area or this uh, restaurant, but Kelsey made a spirit board and she did the spirit board in the basement and asked the year that it laid out for her on the spirit board is the year that Nixon was president. How else would they know that? Like, I don't know anything about Nixon. I have no idea about like, him. Maddie didn't know either. I don't know really anything like, about all of our presidents. There's been so many. Like, the last thing I'm going to know is something about Nixon. No disrespect, but, like, it, it just wasn't our time, you know? And, like, yeah, I took, <laughs> I took history classes, but you forget that. Yeah, I think it's really cool that Nixon used to come here a lot with his wife, and this was his favorite restaurant. No doubt in my mind, his energy still comes and visits. Yeah. If there's anyone here, Kelsey and I are just very interested in getting to know you. And getting into my Wells Fargo account. Yeah, we're trying to pay the bill. I sent her some money and we're, we're stuck. So if you want to know what it's like to be Kelsey and I, it sucks. Kelsey's phone died. I lost my wallet, so I have no way to pay for this. Whoa, look at my camera. <laughs> what is happening? Are there any spirits here who want to communicate with us? Oh, who was that? What is your name? I heard you. What? Guys, I can't even use my camera anymore. We're just gonna use Kelsey's footage. My camera is getting way too blurry. It's weird. My name is Chris and this is Kelsey. We're very interested in getting to know you. Thank you for having us. Is there anything that you'd like to say to us? Can you tell me who whispered behind us? Are you revisiting the jail cell? You're like shuffling over there. Yeah. By the wine. Sounding like a foot so. The mm. creek? The creek? No, the creek is my chair, but it sounds like there's somebody right outside the door right now. Let's do this without the spirit box and see if we can get any disembodied voices or whispers on the camera. Because obviously they don't want to talk to us on the spirit box. It's really odd. I usually am able, both of us were usually able to get really active responses on the spirit box. Maybe there's something blocking the communication. Yeah. If there's any spirits here with us, we want you to let us know you're here. Can you move something? Can you... So right behind me is where we heard that whisper earlier. Freezing yeah, right now. I just got like a whiff of like 
cold angle. where i'm sitting in particular it's like ice cold ice ice like on my ears my fingertips if there's anyone down here with us you can communicate by speaking into my camera i'll be able to hear you later we didn't have very good luck on the spirit box it's there weird. may there there may be something blocking whatever's here from communicating to us or they may just not be comfortable with that form of communication the wine that's in this basement right now is really dusty so it looks like it's been sitting here for a long time looks like they're aging it it's a merlot my personal favorite when it comes to a red is not something sweet like a merlot it's more along the lines of a cabernet and my favorite whites are the dry and buttery kind like a chardonnay i don't know why i just had to tell you guys that as i just came back down into this basement i was coming around the stairs there's like a bend at the stairs and i got so dizzy i feel like i was gonna just tip over there is some heavy energy in this oh basement. Gosh. There are some things that I am able to sense and feel. It's more of a feeling that I get. I, I'm able to sense certain things and a lot of things come to me in my sleeping state. And if you missed that live stream, I did a live stream. I think it was Come Chat With Me where I go into a lot of these details about my dreams that I have and I'm a very lucid dreamer. I've had some out of body experiences throughout my life. Yeah, the way that I feel like the spirit world connects with me is more in an energy way they're able to communicate with me Zero by playing with like the energy three. fields around me like i'm able to sense when things are around me i get certain feelings i can feel the energy shift in my body and this has been my entire I, life it's hard I, to explain if you've never experienced anything like this it's just the best way i can explain it so i hope you guys understand what the hell i'm trying to say check out the writing in the walls this has definitely been here since the 1800s this is the original foundation that we're looking at i wish there was a way for me to add my initials to this wall i got <laughs> my camera keeps what the f was that i just heard a scream my camera there was a scream kelsey and i both heard it and i know my camera picked it up and it wasn't like a normal scream it was like a blood curdling scream like it was definitely it was unnerving guys something terrible just ha so i think i'm cursed like something <sighs> terrible just happened i just got 200 dollars stolen from me i had another 200 dollars stolen from me a week ago and i had a paypal under a fake my name asking other people for money and then i i lost I my again you heard the scream heard like a whimper someone crying <gasps> no that lady no, that lady. lady looking for her son. Yeah, they hear her crying. You heard? I heard someone whimper. Like, shh. Are you here looking for your son? Are you sad because you can't find him? One more creepy story for you guys before we head out. Kelsey Davies was here investigating and the chandelier was moving. It was rocking back and forth pretty fast and she did catch that on her video. Yeah, that was on Maddie and Kelsey channel. Yeah, maybe you were ghost here. Oh no, <laughs> I thought you don't mind the ghosts. Last time I was I here, the it. big door opened by itself. This yeah. one, I saw it open by itself. Uh -oh. We actually heard a scream in the basement and then we heard someone crying. That's been happening, it happens once in a while. It was loud and clear for us. <laughs> here. Yeah, when he walks through here, he's, he hears someone falling with the Falling cane. with a cane behind your ear there. all right guys so we are about to head out of here if you want a full day vlog on this haunted town please let me know we will be back if you are not already please go and subscribe to my homegirl kelsey davies because you just got it but yeah guys that scream was wild if you heard or saw anything please let me know head over to kelsey's channels Head over to Kelsey's channel. There are some things that she may have caught that I did not catch in my video. If you are not already, please hit that notification bell and give me a big thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next one. Peace out. We just came outside and heard a man like he was like yelling no. or grunting. There's nothing over there. What the hell? Oh no, they said they they see 
monk. <gasps> what if he doesn't have a head and it's like, oh. What if we were hearing the headless monk? So one more story, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in my vlog, but people have claimed to see a headless monk outside of this restaurant, walking around without a head. And we just heard, oh, 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 oh. Oh, all the lights just turned off. 